Hey, it's Karen and I am here for a media preview at Monster Jam in Pittsburgh happening this weekend. We've got a driver. Yay! So introduce yourself really quick. I'm JR Seesock. I'm the driver of the Monster Mart Rottweiler Monster Jam truck. Yeah, and this one is one of our favorites. As soon as we walked in, it was, you can't help but be drawn to it. So tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been driving? I'm 25 years old. Okay. I'm from Frackville, Pennsylvania, about three hours east of here, an hour north of Harrisburg. Okay. And I've been doing this all my life. My dad, uh, I'm a second generation driver. My dad had his first truck when I was, from the time I was born. I was in diapers trying to jack the truck up, helping him. And I just grew up in it, working on it, and I finally got a chance to drive 25 years later. Wow, so this is your first season of driving? This is my first full season of driving, yes. Now, do you get to pick your own truck, or did you get to... How did you get placed with this truck? This is what they asked me to drive. They said they wanted to put me in the puppy, and I remember when the first time this truck came out, I loved it. I was a little kid. I couldn't wait to drive it. I was, that would be me. I love the fans. It's all about the fans with the floppy ears, the tail wagon. I can see the crowds going nuts, and I love it. So how do you get inside a Monster Jam Monster Truck? It's kind of cool. You yeah, channel your inner kid. You go back when you're playing on the jungle gym at school. You come on over. You stick your head up in here. You grab one of the bars. You put your foot here and start climbing on up. You sit in there and after office, oh, we do all the work. Wow. That's cool. Let's give you an inside peek. So Monster Jam Monster Trucks are kind of like a Volkswagen Beetle in that the engine is in the back and we're going to learn a little bit about what makes them go. Yeah, we place our motors in the back for balance. You know, you can go out there and get a better wheelie with them. And overall weight balance. Uh, my truck has a Ford motor in it. It's a big block, full and alcohol injected. Just a whole lot of horsepower for a little bit of fun. Okay, so let's talk about the tires for a second. Obviously, this one's taller than I am. But if you could explain why you use these kind of tires, who's sponsoring you this year, I'd love to know. These are special tires just for Monster Jam. They're EKP. They're awesome. They get good traction. They float over the track. They have good bite. They're 66 inches tall, 43 inches wide, and they're the best tires you can get. Yeah, and what about the sponsor? We have to give them some props. Yeah, it's BKT. They make all of our Monster Jam tires sponsors. They're the main Monster Jam sponsor. I love them, guys. If it wasn't for them, with all the tire help that we get, it wouldn't be possible. So how many times do you go through, say, in a season? It all depends. You know, you can go out there and hit a car, and it'll slice it, or you can go two years without it. It all depends on how bad it is. Wow, and do they actually, because they're very... You know, there's a lot of nubs and things. Do they wear down? Yeah, they wear down. I mean, they're not, not as bad. These ones, they actually designed for Monster Jam. Oh, nice. They went through and they took all the bad things out of all the other tires and made this specific tire. They can, if you look around on some of my tires, you'll see cuts in them, slices, so just from hitting cars. But they last for It all depends. You can have one that will put it on and it will destroy it in the first jump, or one will last you forever. Oh, that's right. Good. So I am down on the track of Monster Jam in Pittsburgh, and this is what it feels like. This is what it looks like when you're a driver. Now obviously they're further up in the air and you know they have padding and things to protect them, but I am standing on the dirt that the drivers will be using this weekend, and it, behind me is the mound, and that's where they try to do flips, they try to knock each other off, they do challenges, and uh, a winner is announced yeah, from that uh, mound. So now I'm here with Justin Sykes, and he is the driver of Megalodon. Tell us what what is a Megalodon? It's a, it's a prehistoric shark. It was uh, estimated to be about three times yeah. of what a great white is today. So it's the biggest shark ever ever that ever lived. Right on. I can see how Monster Jam would want to yeah. be the biggest shark that yeah. ever lived into their rotation. Biggest trucks, biggest sharks. So right? okay, so obviously you drive a Megalodon. Yeah. Which one are we looking at? Which one do you drive? This one right here. Now I'm back there. Two. And how long have you been a driver from Monster Jam? Uh, my first competition was actually January 7th. Oh, so you're... Yeah. This is the first year for you? Yep. Awesome. So what are we looking at back here? What yeah, we got, we got the Monster Jam Speedsters and the Monster Jam ACVs. Okay. We go... That's why it's the Triple Threat Series. Uh, we drive the trucks, and then we get out, and we'll go to the, the Speedsters, and then we'll get out, out of that, go to the ATVs, and back and forth. We have actually seven different competitions. Uh, in this one show, right so on. it's uh, it's wild. It's non-stop for the fans, which is really cool for them too. I bet. So this is your first visit to Pittsburgh, then I'm assuming. Yes. Have well, you... I, I've been through Pittsburgh uh, many times, but I've never been like downtown. In you Pittsburgh know? proper. Yeah, so. so have you had a chance to explore at all? I haven't. I haven't. I drove in yesterday, and then I came straight here. So right on. You're gonna have to get in, maybe in between shows. You're gonna yeah. have a chance to get out and explore. I've heard there's a lot of really cool stuff. I had some some friends, some of the other athletes have uh, been here all week, and they were telling me a lot of stuff I need to check out. So. Oh yeah, get down there. Even though yeah. it's cold, bundle up and get downtown. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. Such a pleasure to talk to you. Appreciate it. 
exposure testing. Uh, no, no, it's not working. Tap the screen. I'm tapping Go the screen. The it's now presuming. I don't know what Mista did. This is an amazing opportunity to be able to stand here in the dirt and see what it's like to be, you know, a monster fan driver or something that works on the Like to be down on the track. I feel just like a driver. I mean, obviously without the padding and the skill and the knowledge to drive a monster. And it's, it's, it's exciting. I can almost feel the dirt gonna be kicked up into the into the stands this weekend. 